Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cream, highlight, and contour your face using um, the NYX CCC palette, which stands for Conceal, Correct, and Contour. I do have a very round face, so one thing I do love doing is contouring my cheek area and my forehead just to give it some definition. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that, and this is a very affordable product. You can get it basically from NYX website or any of their drugstores that sell NYX as well as Ulta. And if you want to see how I cream, highlight, and contour my face, just keep watching. Okay guys, so, so far I did my foundation off camera, my eyebrows and my eye makeup just because I'm still trying to learn how to speed up the videos and I realized that all my tutorials that I've been doing are like 19 minutes or longer and it's kind of boring to be that long. So until I speed up the video, I'll like cut certain parts out just to make it faster, but I will leave links down below to the videos that show you how I do my foundation or like my eye makeup or whatever. But this is just some basic eye makeup with a bright inner corner. And my foundation, I'm using the, let me show it to you. It's the same L'Oreal Infallible in the shade uh, Caramel Beige 108. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to cream contour and highlight with the NYX um, Conceal, Correct, and Contour uh, little palette. And this is the shade Deep. And I love this because it's really affordable. And the colors, it's like full coverage. The colors are pretty basic. You have your yellow to brighten. You have some um, like orange to correct purple or blue or darker spots on your face. And then you have all those other shades to highlight or cover up blemishes with. So this is a really great um, all-in-one palette. Okay, so I'm going to start off with highlighting. This brush that I'm going to use for my under eye, it's from a brand called Jessup. And you could find those on Amazon, I mean, sorry, eBay. I bought like a whole set of these and um, eye brushes for like ten, five or ten dollars. And it was like a total of 12 uh, brushes. So that was really affordable. Let me just put my hair out of my face. And I like to contour my cheeks mostly because I have a very round face and I like to make it more defined because you really can't see my cheekbones. Um, but my nose, I don't contour because I, I don't know, I just... My nose doesn't really bother me, and uh, my forehead, I don't know, to me it's rather small, so I only contour like the very top of it. So let me show you how I'm going to start to highlight first. And with these colors, I'm just going to let you know that you should warm up the product with your finger first and like apply it with your finger and then blend it out with a beauty blender or a brush, just because um, if you put them in, uh, put a brush in these colors first, they're kind of stiff. So they don't blend out too well, but when you warm it up with your finger first, it makes it a lot easier to apply and blend. So starting underneath my eye, I took the yellow shade and I'm just dabbing it in a, like a triangular shape with my um, middle finger just so that it's um, not so so much pressure going under my eye because that area is very sensitive and I start out with a little bit and I do one eye at a time so it doesn't dry up and become hard to work with so using that Jessup brush I'm just going to pat in the product pat and drag really so that it really gets into my skin Just like that and then I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to really push it in there and blend it out even further because the brush sometimes can make it look streaky or really cakey so I like to apply with my finger tap it out with a brush and then um, blend it completely out with a beauty blender and then you can see if you want to add more or not but you can see the difference between this eye and this eye this eye looks a lot um, brighter and like wide and this is just like kind of blah but I just want a little bit more under this eye so just do the same process until you're happy with how bright it is and this is yellow you can also use something um, like brighter or like a highlighter underneath your eye but the yellow with my skin tone is okay as long as it's blended out okay and I like to take any excess and just bring it around the 
bottom of my nostril and the side because it gets a little red. I'll push some into my chin and my forehead. Just like that and then repeat the same thing on the other side. So you're going to bring it tap it uh, bring it down in a tapping motion in a triangular shape because if you just do it like where you have like a dark circle or a bags under your eyes you're going to be able to tell it's not going to brighten up the area it's actually going to make it look worse so you want to make sure that you bring it down into a triangular shape and it's going to brighten up and pull up that whole area okay so we're doing the same with this side And adding a little more to this side. And I'll show you how I set everything later. Okay, so that's that. And you can see how it brightened up the under eye. And then I do like to highlight like my forehead a little more so I'm just I already warmed up the product with my finger so that's why I'm dipping it in with the brush and just dusting it on the chin and the forehead a little more and then I just blend that out with the beauty blender as well and I bring it down my nose also okay so that was that and now for the contouring part when I contour, I do, I don't know, my contour is always different, so I do like to start from where the top of my ear is and bring it, like, down like this, but stop it right here. I don't bring it, like, all the way down by your mouth because it's going to look really bad. So, again, you just take it from up here, and this side kind of has, like, a natural dark line there, so that's, like, kind of my guide for this side of my face. So, I'm going to be taking this, the darkest shade in here this one and same thing I'm going to apply a little bit with my finger first and this is very dark so be really light-handed with this one like like that literally because you're gonna take um, the brush and blend that out and then I apply it by the top of my forehead and the temples like that I also love um, the wonder stick by NYX so if you want a tutorial with how I contour and highlight with that I would be happy to do that as well just let me know okay so with this I like to use a um, stippling brush to blend out cream contour so this one that I love is from elf and it's their small stipple brush and it just looks like this and it's really small so it fits perfectly in these areas and what I like to do is with a very light hand, just start blending it out and upwards. If you drag it down, you're going to look like you have a 5 o'clock shadow and we're women so we don't have beards and that will not look too cute. So with this, you just want to keep blending in a circular motion. Don't drag the contour down too far. And the key is to bring it like up. If you bring it down on your forehead, you're going to have like this huge dark mess, especially if you have um, a small forehead. If you have a larger forehead, you're going to want to bring it down further because you're, what you're contouring is what you're trying to um, like decrease. When you're highlighting, you're like bringing it out to make it stand out more. So just keep blending with a light hand. And you can make that fishy face if that helps you. So you're still using circular motions and dragging the color upwards. And into the hairline so that way your scalp is not like white and then you could see that line. You want to try to get rid of the line as much as possible. So it's not so harsh. And with this side of my face, it always looks a little darker just because I have that naturally um, dark line there. So I try to blend this side out as um, a lot more than the other side. Just so it doesn't look like a huge brown line. 
And then any extra, I just take on my jawline, under my chin, and on the other side of my jaw, as well as drag some down the neck. Okay, now to blend that out even further, because I can still see some lines, I like to use um, like a larger stippling brush, and this one is from BH Cosmetics. So, I feel like with the stippling brush, it's so like light, it just brings, it just blends everything out really seamlessly, and it doesn't take away like the product. Okay, and then the bottom again, just like that. And you can always add more. Like I said, it's better to start out with a smaller amount and then build it up. Otherwise, if you start out with too much, like you saw how dark that was, if I would have just smeared it all across my face, it would have become a huge mess blending it out. So the key with that is start out with a little bit and work your way up after you blend. Like um, apply, blend, apply some more if you want to. And I don't really need to conceal anything. I actually did conceal um, when I applied my foundation. But when I conceal blemishes or anything that I want to cover up, I use this shade right here. It works really good with my skin tone and it's very easy to blend out. Okay, so now we need to set where we use the cream. And usually I would use like um, a bronzer or a darker shade to go a powder product to go over like where I contoured and then a lighter color to go over where I highlighted but today I'm just going to be using a translucent powder for the whole entire thing and for under the eyes I love the Real Techniques setting brush because it fits perfectly so you just dust this on to where you applied the cream and it makes I'm sorry I'm like I always choke on this powder I always apply too much and it like goes straight up my nose, sorry. So it makes everything look way smoother and this literally doesn't have the concealer crease on you at all. And then do the same to the other side. I actually want to buy the uh, Laura Mercier um, setting powder. So that's like next on my list to buy. But this is for, by Be A Bombshell and it is called um, Smooth Criminal Powder. And it's just tr uh, translucent powder. And I also like this brush to set the middle of the forehead, down the nose, and the chin. And then for the rest of the face, uh, Real Techniques, I use their, what is this, the powder brush. So this is just a translucent powder. It's not going to leave any white marks or any color on your face. So it's just going to make the product last a lot longer and it makes your skin look like it has um, a smoother appearance. Do you guys notice every time I film my son is napping and then either towards the very beginning or like the end he's always waking up and making crazy noises. I don't know if you can hear him but he's waking up again. So good thing I'm almost finished with this. Okay and lastly I'm just going to show you how I apply my blush and my highlight. So for my blush today I'm going to be using my City Color Cosmetics Mosaic um, Blush in Coral Glow. And I do have a coupon code for you guys for this to get 10% off. Their website is amazing and their products are really pigmented and amazing as well. So for this I like to smile just to see where the apples of my cheeks are. And I apply it right on top of my contour. Like that. Again with blush, especially when you're using like pink tones and things like that. Um, it's really important to start out with a little bit. Otherwise you'll end up looking like a clown. And I've done that many times and had to literally wash my entire face to restart. And I wasn't too happy about that, so I learned the hard way. Okay, so that's the blush, very subtle, and it just brings some color back to the skin. And then to highlight today, I'm going to be using the Laura Geller um, Big Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. It's a really gorgeous gold color. And to apply my highlight with, I'm using, um, it's a BH Cosmetics. I think it's just like a round brush. It's not, not specifically for highlighting, but I love it to highlight. And I just put that right on the cheekbone. Like that. Tip of my nose. Actually, the whole bridge of my nose. That's fine. Cupid's bow and a little bit above the brow. 
And to make sure that's all blended together well, I go back over it with the stippling brush so there's not too many harsh, obvious lines like that. And for a lipstick, I'm going to be using ColourPop Cosmetics um, Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Beeper. And I actually haven't tried this yet, so this is the first time I'm using this. It's a really nice color, actually. And I think one coat of that is good enough. So that is how I cream contour with that NYX CCC palette. Um, I'll leave more. I actually did a blog post on this a while ago. Like, I'll leave it linked below, but my hair was actually like um, a light brown shade and things like that. So you're going to be able to tell that that was an old post. But I'll leave it linked below because I have a full review on the product itself as well as like a few, like a little pictorial. And then I'll link this video in the blog post as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I hope you give it a try and let me know how you like it. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later.